Welcome back here at Clickspan. Today I want to cover a theme team that I played this past weekend at my tournament. It was 800 points, Silver Age, whatever pretty much goes. This was actually an 800 point team. I didn't have enough points for the characters, so I had to use some objects, Orange Lantern, White Lantern, and Indigo. This was because a bunch of these figures have regeneration and I wanted to make it so the point if I got on regeneration I would be able to at least roll for it if it came up you couldn't outwit it and I'd get a bonus because the White Lantern Indigo uh, are pretty good for doing that. White Lantern you can't have support or regeneration outwitted or countered and Indigo you only subtract one from your roll. And so that, that's good. And then the Orange Lantern basically gives your poison a range of two. We have to have clear line of sight. So basically, that's what I had going on there. I haven't used some of these figures, so I wanted to try you know, some of these Hydra figures out before the new Galactic Guardian comes out. Because that when that set comes out, I'm going to be pretty much trying to play all the new figures. Um, so I haven't played the Red Skull or Baron Strucker or the Fixer or Metallo. But other than that, yeah, I mean, I haven't played most of these figures. So I figured, you know, I'm probably not going to be able to play them um, at a tournament at this point. You know, that's 800 points worth of figures. So anyways, I was like, yeah, I'm going to try this out before the new Galactic Guardian set comes out. Um, it actually worked out pretty well. Um, the first match, I actually came in a little late, so I got the first round by. Uh, I really would have uh, preferred to play, but, you know, not a big deal. In my first match, I lost against a full team of, you know, 65-point Punishers. I think he had about eight or nine of them. And some pogs. He had, you know, it was an 800 point team, I can't remember, but he had a whole team of them, all different types of them, you know, different dials, and he might have had one of them at the 100 point one. And uh, he had the, you know, gauntlet on one of the, you know, Punishers. He never really uh, got to use that figure. It was basically a swarm team versus another swarm team, and we only got maybe like six or seven turns each. And I lost about 100 points and I didn't KO anything because every time I would get something going, uh, I would get like a knockback and then he would be out of range. I had a good chance of KO in a couple figures, but I got a flurry with Electra, first hit, a hit, and then knocked the guy back. So I couldn't continue to kill him out. As you know, it was, it was a fun match, but you know, it was a, basically a... Swarm team versus Swarm team, we didn't really get a lot of actions in, but it was pretty fun. And it was the first time I've actually used this version of Red Skull and, the, uh, and then this Baron Strucker. And Baron Strucker has a really cool trait where you can basically ignore a friendly character that has Hydra or the Hydra team ability for Line of Fire. So you can put a figure in front of you and then have him shoot over, but he can do this um, for all the characters that have it. So every character that qualifies can do it to another character. So this is really, really nice. And I didn't even use this in the first match, which may have helped me, but he had the Marvel Knights alternate TA, which gives everyone stealth. So this is kind of uh, not a stealth buster team. So it was just really tough for this team. Um, a lot of people did play competitively, but uh, you know, it really wasn't anything on the line so I figured this would be just a fun team you know I don't think it's that overly competitive but you know it's pretty fun Hydra team you get a lot of the characters and get some of this stuff um, so basically that's really what Baron Strucker is really good for he has leadership and a, you know a couple other powers that are beneficial but um, for the most part, you know, he's got that really awesome trait and um, he's got running shot, uh, but only he's got four range and he's got mastermind to start off with. And then Red Skull, he's a charger poison uh, outwitter. So, you know, he can uh, charge in and, and do some damage, but he's also 140 points as well. But he's got leadership uh, and, uh, you know, it's a, it's a fun character. I think they're probably better off on smaller point teams or maybe on a team where I can have a little bit more range and run and shot because this team is not a lot of move and attack. Only a few characters can do that. And then my second match, I went up against Ragtag Team and uh, I actually did win that one, but it was about 300 points each. I took out about 350 and he took out about 250. You can K 
carry these guys into uh, the battle and uh, get some mind control. When they're together, they get bonuses to their attack. But overall, they weren't overpowering or anything. I used them to just kind of get the first attack off and tie up people. And Electra, I kind of got her in there to charge and flurry. Using Outwit with... Red Skull. Madam has um, some perplex and double perplex if you share the correct keywords with her. So a lot of times she was able to do that, but you can't do it with damage. You know, it's pretty fun team, but not, you know, super uber competitive, especially at 800 points, but it was quite fun. If anyone is interested in continuing with the build a team, please leave a comment to this video telling me, you know, the figures that you want me to build a team with, you know, so give me like 20 figures and I'll build a team. A lot of people sent me some teams over the past month and I just, it got lost in the mail. So I figured just want to start over with this and, you know, anyone that wants to submit a list of figures, please do so. And I will do another episode of building a team for you guys. All right, take it easy and enjoy. Hopefully you found this video pretty interesting. Take it easy guys and stay tuned for more videos.